check. Microphone check. Excellent. Brilliant. Here we. Here we. <clears throat> Here we are. Planet Earth. It's impossible not to appreciate the sheer grandeur of our world. And yet there remains one forest unexplored by humans. A forest filled with life. With creatures living in the burrows of the ferns, the branches of the trees, by the flowing streams, and the mossy bogs. I'm David Attenborough's neighbor, Dennis, and welcome to a forest filled with little critters. Our first encounter is this curious fellow with the eyes of a hawk and the ears of a bat. He stands guard for the many creatures of these woods. Now, this astonishing creature is thankful for the lookout, for it sleeps 23.6 hours a day. Specific, I know, but witnessing their subconscious adventures is truly adorable. Looking upward, we find the red jackal spider. It's hairy, distinctive for Excuse its... Excuse me. Wait, <clears throat> I I'm sorry, who is speaking? I'm speaking to you. Oh, dear. I've eaten the wrong berries. <laughs> nope, it ain't the berries. What? Who are you? I'm Frank. And I'm Blue, which is weird, because I'm a red spider. I could not call you Frank or Blue. This is a science documentary. Science? Ha! You think secretly filming someone while they sleep is science? Why, yes. Why, no. It's creepy. So creepy. Uh, listen, I can assure you I'm here as an award-winning documentarian behest by His Majesty. Oh, so you're an English colonialist. Uh, no, no, we're not here to colonize. Right. Pretty soon you'll have us talking all dainty, drinking tea, and... Oh, not me. I prefer coffee. Yeah, me too. Me three. Oh, we should do a coffee run. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please, I just need you all to be mysterious little critters. What? Little? Ugh. My therapist warned me about people like you. You just love to label. Your therapist? Yeah. What'd you say? He was the guardian of the woods? Yes. See, it's tough being a red spider. Mm-hmm. So many expectations. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't understand. Look, I I'm not saying I understand. Clearly, you don't understand anything. What? what? When you said earlier I was down by the mossy bogs, what were you trying to imply? Wh why, I, what? I, I was... Like I'm some sort of hussy down by the docks trying to work a hustle? No. I wasn't trying to imply For that. the record, I'm Miss Islington, the executive vice president and co-chair of the entire Forest Council. She is. Well, she ran unopposed, but... Please, I'm simply here to make a science program, and all you little critters... Oh, again with a little. Unbelievable. It's like he's trying to trademark us. <laughs> if so, he better spell critters with a Z. Much cuter. Hmm. Eh. Seems a little gimmicky. Oh, I like it. Oh, Ooh, that's good. Maybe it does work. I told you. I can't have you wearing hats and paraphernalia. Can we make lunch boxes? Ooh, ooh, with our pictures on it? No. Audiences expect the struggle of survival, the hunt. Can you at least let me film you eating? Ooh, I'm insect intolerant. Oh. I can't eat bugs. Can I eat your sound guy? Wait. What? Ow! <laughs> no! Everyone, please stop talking. <gasps> I don't know, sir. You seem to be harboring a lot of anger issues. What? You really should talk to my therapist. Yes, you should. Anger issues? I don't have anger issues. He got something issues. This is absurd. Explaining myself to you. Listen. I've got a pound, a Cleo, an Emmy, night of fire and air. I don't need to have a position Where's the real anger? What I miss? You see, Doc, Attenborough, he makes it look so easy. Yes. His critters, always majestic. Yes. <sighs> Is that all you say? Yes. Hmm. That's actually quite comforting. In these remote desert plains, a lone creature stands Don't you guard. even dare. <laughs>